Welcome to Panthera TV. Today we're going to be talking about wildfires and how they affect wildcats and the landscapes where they live. A lot of people recently have been asking us, are wildcats affected by the fires in Australia? And the answer is no, because wildcats don't live in Australia. They do, however, live everywhere else, from North, Central, South America, Asia, Africa, and parts of Europe. And unfortunately, as we've seen, fires are becoming more common and more dangerous across the entire globe. Here to tell us more are some of Panthera's own experts. Hi, I'm Allison Devlin. I'm a postdoctoral research associate with Panthera and based at the University of Montana. I was asked today to speak a bit about the current headlines that we've been seeing over the past few months regarding the wildfires that have been devastating landscapes across the southern hemisphere from the fires in the Amazon to the Bolivian dry forest in the Chiquitano and even to the world's largest inland wetland, the Brazilian Pantanal. Certain systems do have a natural fire regime and it's a normal part of a dry season cycle where there are typically smaller, less intense, less severe fires. What is happening over the past few months that we're seeing are far more intense fires and more severe fires that are burning across entire habitat, large tracts of landscape. Man-made fires as those from the Amazon or the Australian fires will sadly be more frequent. Why? Because climate change will create more extreme weather events, extreme floods, but also extreme droughts. And extreme droughts produce perfect fuel for more fires and extended wildfires kill animals. It's the question on the intensity and the severity of the fire. This is where it's seeming if this is going to become more commonplace over the dry season, we as wildlife professionals will need to work more closely with fire ecologists and we'll have to understand these large-scale fires and how they change the dynamics of the system, the structure of the landscape over time, and how managing over many generations will have to adapt. Species like a jaguar are able to move out of the area immediately due to fire and return. What's their prey base going to look like into the future? If they don't have the prey that they need into a landscape, jaguars are going to respond by shifting their distribution. We need to be able to track how these species are responding so that we can manage for them over time and we can help support their populations so that they can persist for not just the next five years but for five generations or more into the future. Thanks for watching Panthera TV. Follow us at PantheraCast on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.